this is problem two of the MIT integration we call final exam 14, which is the definite integral from x equals negative 9 to x equals to positive 9 of the sine of the cube root of x. So it's an interesting problem. Let's see how we may be able to solve it. So um, the integral from x equals to negative 9 to x equals to 9 of sine cube root of x means that um, we can try to substitute off that ugly part there by saying let u equal to cube root of x such that u cube equals to x and from here we can see that 3u squared du dx equals to 1 um, meaning that we can substitute For dx with 3u squared du. <clears throat> now another important bit is we can try to look at the limit. We have x, we have u. When x goes to negative 9, we have the cube root of um, 9, negative. And then when x goes to positive 9, we have the cube root of positive 9. Um, so that means that now our problem could be now um, worked out like uh, that. And um, which means that we can now simplify it in the following way. Um, the next thing we want to do is now, I think, integrate uh, by parts. Um, and this is if you have the product of a function u and derivative of function v, when you integrate that, that's the same as uv minus the integral of v, the derivative of u. This is our driving formula. And so knowing that we can express sine u as the derivative with respect to u of negative cosine u. And this negative cosine u can be now equated to v, and u squared is capital U. Therefore, now we have 3 u squared cosine u. The negative here is the negative that was a negative cosine u that was shaded to v. And this is negative 9 plus, because of this negative, negative minus minus, and then 3 derivative of u squared now is going to be 2u, so we are multiplying by 2, and so we have u cosine u <laughs> from cube root of negative 9 to cube root of 9. So this guy here is the same as negative the cube root of positive 9. And since uh, this part is a, a square, that means that the negative and the positive will have the same value when you square them. But also cosine of a negative is the same as cosine of the same thing with the sine of positive. So this entire part goes to zero, right? And so our integral essentially boils down to the integral of u cosine Again, we are going to do, um, by the way, the 6 comes from 
multiplying 3 and 2. We're going to use integration by parts again, uh, where we would express this as the derivative of sine u. Right? Um, and so this means that our problem now becomes u sine u um, 3 negative 9 3 positive 9 um, minus 6 sine u because we've now differentiated u which is 1 with the limits right so that's where we've gotten um, let's see we said we have u sine u uh, let me just pull the negative out so that the cube root of 9 uh, minus sine u du cube root of negative cube root of 9 cube root of 9. Um, so what is crucial here is let's kind of expand this out which is I could say this is a 3 9 sine of 3 9 minus um, negative 3 9 sine of negative 3 9 minus when we integrate this sine u is the same as negative cosine so this becomes plus cosine u negative root 3 of 9 uh, cube root of 9 and cube root of 9 so what's crucial to see here is that this negative can propagate backward here and this becomes positive so essentially you have And that would cancel out um, plus there's a six hidden six here we have six um, cosine of cube root of nine minus cosine of negative of cube root of nine So cosine of a negative is a positive, so this also cancels out. And so we have a zero as our answer. So we have now a the integral from x equals negative nine to positive nine of sine of cube root of x being equal to zero. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our answer.